sort of the heart and soul of the college, uh, which I really think is the, is the teaching learning experience between faculty and students. It was a great place to teach, absolutely fantastic. I can't imagine teaching any place else. When we came in, we were fairly young and we all stayed through our working career. Nobody in their right mind would leave such a beautiful job as this. We called it our college. We had a vested interest in success. We wanted our students to learn. We wanted to do the best we knew how. They were all really interested in educating students. I really think that my role, getting back to your original question, was to maintain the integrity of this institution, and I, I never stopped doing that. I gave the students a ground rule when I was teaching. They adhered to it, and it was, it was not an easy one. In hiring people, for example, for the college, I would look for a diverse background for people who might perhaps disagree with something that, that I view, that are my values. I, you know, I wanted to see diff people coming from different, different walks of life. We, the faculty members, take care in replacing ourselves. People like uh, Ed Herman, who a number of times told me that this is like a living in a dream. I went to East Bend Kodak right out of engineering school. Worked on some very interesting projects, a lunar orbiter. I was reading the Rochester paper and there was a big ad in the paper. Uh, engineers, would you like to teach in college? Ed came down and I had started working on a new electrical program because I figured, you know, electricity back in those days was a big thing. And We had 45 freshmen in the program. So it was a very successful program. We were very active in state and national uh, organizations like NISMATIC, New York State Math Association of Two-Year Colleges. In fact, our first president of that organization was Herbie Gross. He was a sensation all over the state in classrooms and other colleges and, and of course here. And his lectures, the students crowded to go to it even if they weren't taking math. I think people that teach up here and have put their hearts into it. It's not just a job. Do you want to teach the material or present the material? There's a big difference between the two. And I think the people at Corning Community College are definitely teachers. And they're, they're going to uh, great extremes in order to do that. Instead of just lecturing, we discovered that very soon that the students had a wide range of, of uh, learning styles and abilities. And we, what we started to do was learn to be better teachers, learn to be coaches, learn to help the students learn as well as being content experts in whatever our fields were. There are people that will go to great lengths to present material and, and great lengths to motivate students. Most of what we do affects students and that's why we're here. Is this a job or is this a career? A professor at Corning Community College can have an impact uh, not only on the students at the college but also on people well beyond the college itself. If you change somebody's life and open a door and, and, and cause them to think that something might be relevant that they didn't see as relevant before, that's what education is about. They spend extra time with students. We have learning centers for students. The opportunity is there and people want the students to succeed. So the creation of the Student Success Center to me was a big change and a positive change in the advising and, and treatment of students here at Corning Community College. Uh, because our students at the community college are a very heterogeneous mix, bring a lot of baggage. And a lot of that baggage gets in the way of concentration in the classroom. So I prided myself uh, being in a position to lighten their load with the, the baggage and maximize their time in, in the classroom for what they're here for. A problem would come up and, and between a faculty member and a student. In came Jack and, and settled it amicably on all sides. The focus on the student was certainly unique to Corning Community College. Those who could and enjoyed teaching, who could teach, who could teach well, who really enjoyed teaching and who enjoyed students, I think, stayed. Jack Anderson was, was here. He would celebrate each Earth Day up in his lab by, by having uh, a big cake brought in. And that was to celebrate the birth of the Earth, in essence. And it's, uh, you know, those extra 
kinds of things that people used to do and add that, that made the plays great. I always told my students in art, I have a hidden agenda. I want you to go to Europe. I don't want you to stop at Horseheads, at Painted Post, at Endicott, at Utica. I want you to go, get on a camel, and go out and see a pyramid. Jim Hudson came on board. He is a person with a doctorate from Eastman uh, School of Music. The beginning of the nursing program, for example, was a huge benefit to the communities here. The first class was admitted in 1962. We've staffed the medical community with nurses for a good many years. We wanted to be one of the best in the states, and I guess from our accreditation and so forth, we are considered one of the best in the states. Corning's always been known for being a, a quality uh, institution. Whether we were that little Harvard on the hill when we started, where our students were mostly liberal arts, or whether we just, you know, turn out the two-year nursing students who, as you know, have an outstanding record any place. Corning Community College credits have been transferred to every major school that I'm aware of. All of the information that we ever received historically about students transferring to other schools, our students have always been the top of the class. They've always done a wonderful job. Well, I think probably that Corning has one of the best reputations. Um, people, young kids who come out of Corning and leave here are so successful going into four-year schools so that it speaks very well for Corning. And I think that other institutions have emulated us. Corning has always seen itself and I think Albany and the Office of Community College down there is often referred to Corning Community College, it's, it's a jewel in the, in the crown. The gem, and I say that in all sincerity, the gem of community colleges, not only in the state, but in the nation. This, this is the finest place.